and welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to resample an image. Now, resampling actually creates a different number of pixels in the image. Okay, so resampling has two different parts. It's got an up sample and a down sample. Up sample means to increase the total number of pixels in the image, and down sample is decreasing. Pretty simple, huh? Now, how those pixels are represented have to do with the documents uh, property. So let's take a look at this image and image size. Alt Control I will also get you in there. Now, this particular image, all right, says that the image has 1024 across, so 1024 pixels across by 768 pixels down. That's an old monitor resolution. That's where that comes from. It's really, really tiny. This is a very small image. Okay, uh, it's maybe one, not even one megapixel. Okay, it's tiny. Okay, the way it's represented, it says that it's going to print out 14 by 10. Okay, 14 inches, almost 11 inches. Okay, but if you take a look at the resolution, it's saying that we're only putting 72 pixels in an inch, and 72 comes from the original size of how many pixels would be on a monitor. Now, that's no longer the case. There are high DPI monitors, and um, Macs have those um, retina displays. They have higher resolution, higher pixels per inch. But that's where that comes from. So this it would be like, you know, a very tiny image, okay, very tiny. And uh, resampling it, you could change the number of pixels. You could make it a bigger picture. So resample here, okay, is checked, meaning that if I were to, say, make it a good print resolution, which means 300, whenever you want to print something uh, that you're going to be close to, I mean, posters, banners that are really huge that you're, you know, 20, 30 feet away from, you don't have to go that high. But in general, printing out anything you could hold in your hand or look closely at, you'd want to go at 300 pixels per inch. Now notice what happened there. When I typed in 300 here, it didn't alter this, okay? It altered up here the width and the height. So it instantly made it 4,000 pixels. So that's like, you know, for every one pixel, there's another four, okay? So it, how does it do that? How does it enlarge? Well, I'm going to show you a uh, some ways that this thing is enlarging. The original way something would be enlarged is called nearest neighbor, and that this just means that if there was four pixels green, there would be now, you know, like 16 pixels green. They don't do anything but just, you know, double up the number of blocks on the image. So let's take a look at how that looks. I'm going to do nearest neighbor and take a look at that and click OK. So it honestly just looks like I zoomed in on the picture. That's all. So there's no special blending. You can see all the pixels, and then when I zoom in, now you can see that. Each one pixel is now made up of 16 pixels. So you can see how that has, you know, gotten bigger. But there's not blending in any special way. There's not any th way the computer has tried to mask all that blockiness, that aliasing, as you uh, will come to know it. Instead, it just made the blocks bigger. That's all. Okay. I'm going to step backward and we're going to do the image size again. And this time we'll do 300. But this time we'll tell it to do a particular type of thing. Now I am enlarging because I have a higher number of pixels. So if you do go to this drop down menu, the one you're going to choose would be bicubic smoother. That's the algorithm it's going to use. And that's the best for enlargement. So I'm going to click that and click OK. So there you go. So you see now you can see that the pixels are not made up of a bunch of blocks. And when you get in, you just see the individual pixels. Same size image overall, it's just the way it enlarges was changed. Um, I'm going to go backwards again, edit, step backward, and we'll go to image, image size. Now if I'm shrinking, I can go to best for reduction. Now a shrinking situation would be this. Say I wanted to print it out at maybe three inches across, a tiny, tiny picture. So I'm going to make it 300 pixels per inch. And I'm going to tell it to be three inches across. And because I have constrained proportions on, all I got to do is change the width and the height. They'll change with it. If I didn't have constrained proportions, it would honestly squish the image. It would everything looks smashed. So I'm going to go ahead and say, you know, this is smaller, right? It, it was 1,024. Now it's only 900. And I'm going to click OK. And so now it just shrank it. Okay. 
and of course we're going to definitely see the pixels a lot quicker. One of the ways you can determine really quickly if a picture is tiny or big is when you open it up it usually fills up the entire space here okay and if you can see your whole picture and you look up here by the name and it says we're at a hundred percent zoom okay that's you know one to one we are exactly the size of the picture and you can see the whole thing that means it's a tiny tiny picture okay so what I want you to do is make sure that you're always looking at this because if you open up your pictures that you work on in class and it's you know 100% and you can see the whole picture that's gonna be a lousy picture to work with okay enlarging it is not going to make it any better necessarily okay you can enlarge a little bit but you're not gonna enlarge a lot big images when you open them up should say like maybe you know 16% or 12% okay but certainly not 100% if you're seeing the whole thing so anyway um, let's go ahead and step back and just tell you what I want you to do what I want you to do with this is I want you to save this image twice. I want you to resample it to 300 pixels per inch and have it be about four, you know, it's about 4,000 across, okay, 4,000 pixels. And I want you to use the proper method of enlargement or reduction with that. Then I want you to do one where you downsample. In the downsampling, you would do the opposite. You would use the um, other bicubic the one that is for reduction, okay? And then you would use the uh, size to down to maybe 300 pixels per inch and 900. So if you were to do those things again, I'm gonna go image size, I would want one to be 300. And you can save that, making sure that you're on by best for enlargement, by cubic smoother. And I'd want you to also do one where it's 300, but make it only three inches across and do the reduction, best for reduction, okay? And save both of those. One should be called up sample and one should be called down sample. Make sure the right one is called up sample and the right one's called down sample. That's it for this video.